Okay, good morning people, welcome to a new video. We are right down in Chirapunji uh, main market. And as you can see, there is an army of taxi. They all ready to pick up the uh, numerous tourists and to take them on sightseeing. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Well, don't need a taxi because I have my, my bike. And I have one of the uh, local taxi actually with me, Mr. Edinburgh. Nice to meet you, brother. Uh, I wanted to ask your advice, brother. Uh, I want to go and visit a cave today. Cave? Which one, yeah? Mausma? Mausman. Oh, okay, Mausman cave, eh? Is it the best? No, the best cave is Mamuluk, Mamuluk cave. Mamuluk cave, okay. How far is it uh, with the bike? Not too far. Like uh, go as highway. Like 30 minutes or something? Not 30 minutes. Less? Less. Only oh, 15. Fantastic. Okay, so let's uh, start with this one. Okay, thank you so much, Edinburgh. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, stick around, guys. It's gonna be some ca cave exploration today, sightseeing, and uh, whatnot. Let's see. Let's see where the day leads us. See you on the way. It's a lovely little ride. It's the same, uh, we've got another church here. Yeah. I feel like the uh, the amount of Christians around here is, uh, is a bit bigger than the rest of the country in Northeast India. Because I see, I mean, I see way more churches actually. Yeah guys, so I don't know, well, I'm, I'm posting these videos probably seven to 10 days uh, late, but um, you probably, some of you may have heard about what happened in, in Meghalaya. Uh, some border disputes and uh, ever since, ever since, yeah, there's an uh, internet outage. So it's been uh, 48 hours now, there's no no 4G, not even Wi-Fi. So there's no internet whatsoever. So people can still make phone calls, send messages, but um, yeah, no data whatsoever. Uh, on the first day, two days ago, on the first day of the outage, the Wi-Fi was working on and off. But now, for the past year, 36 hours, nothing at all. So. I was really keen to uh, do a daily <laughs> daily vlogs, but because of that last night I couldn't post. And tonight I don't think I will be able to again. So if you see two day uh, gap in my uh, uploads where, well, you know where I was. Okay guys, so we made it to uh, Molu. So now I guess I just need to find where the cave is. Uh, way to waterfalls, nope. And there's no one to ask apart from the dog. Oh no, there's someone here. Hello, brother. Hey, man, how are you? Yeah, good. That's good. What's your name? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice. Where's the Molmu cave? Over there. Uh, straight and then right? I have to go along the guide. Okay, but where do I? Okay, where do I park? Where do I find a guide? Is 3, per what? Why? 3, yeah. Why? It's very costly. Very of everything, light, helmet, boots. Oh wow, man! It, they didn't tell me this. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, no, that's, I definitely don't have that money. So uh, because I can't go alone, I can't just no, go. No. no, of course not. No. <laughs> silly, silly friendship. So three thousand, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's the best price. Yeah. I'm not yeah. that rich. <laughs> four kilometers. Yeah, four, oh, it's four kilometers yeah. deep. So, can hang on one second, brother. So you said the other one is, and what about uh, what about this? Do you know Garden of Caves? Yes, near that Arwa cave. It's nice. Up, yeah. Okay, and do you know how much it is to? Uh, Maybe fifty to fifty to hundred. Fifty to hundred rupees. Yeah. For for our cave? What? Arwa cave, Arwa cave, I think it's 50? Yeah. That's my budget. <laughs> <laughs> Man, thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. <laughs> Take care. Okay, guys, so change of plan. <laughs> We're gonna go to the to the cheapest caves. It's probably a cave that's like 15 meters. <laughs> oh, bro, I had no idea it was like full on uh, cave with like all the gear. Boots, helmets, uh, like the ropes and shit. I had no idea. I mean, I'm not a caveman. Okay, let's try our cave first. Okay, let's do it, guys. 
<laughs> let's go back. Wow, what a start of the day. Oh man, I think it's here, no? I saw something here was a cave or whatever. Ah, let's check it out. Let's let's ask the locals. Hello guys, how are you? Do you know our cave? What is this here? Waterfall here? Oh, okay. Uh, our our cave. Our cave okay. Oh, this way. This way. I went too far. <laughs> okay. And this is waterfall here. Waterfall. And and tree. Three, Twenty. Twenty. Okay, why not? Let's check it out. Okay, one minute. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Okay, when I come back, no problem. So twenty rupees. Okay. As, uh, I like it already, you know, those kind of uh, budget-friendly waterfalls, I feel like uh, they've been designed for me. So very happy with that, that's a great start. And you can tell it's a bit of a, of a cheap one, like it's a little bit messed up in the area. They're still building, they're still building the waterfall. And uh, because it's dry season, there won't be any water. So we can just look at rocks. Ah, the view is amazing. Ah, yeah, there is a bit of water there. Not much. <laughs> Not much, not, not like on the pictures. Guys, so uh, Zoom 5X, that's what I needed to use on my phone to have a clear view of the waterfall. So I think yeah, during the, the wet season, obviously most of the rocks, we can actually see some uh, water, water marks on a rock, but uh, now it's just tiny little streams. Like, to, like the, the, the rock is spitting a little bit of water, whatever is left from the wet season. Yeah, guys. Well, it's a very nice view, though. Let's be, let's be honest. It's a very nice view. It's definitely worth 20 rupees. Yeah, awesome canyon. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a budget-friendly uh, sesh today. I think I have a vlog for the title or uh, title for the vlog already. <laughs> okay, guys. So after speaking with the the guy at the entrance of the the dry waterfall, we we just went to. He advised me to go to a place called Garden of Caves which is not far from here, a few kilometers and apparently there's a nice park from what I understood uh, Yeah, and on the way back we can check out the, uh, the other one, Awa Cave But yeah, the ride is amazing Brand new road Loving it to a small village and I suspect that let me go and ask the locals I suspect that the the garden of caves is this way hello huh? hello guys hello garden of caves garden of caves what uh, uh, name name of the village here yeah. no homestay uh, cave cave huh? cave hang on let me ask a taxi thank you sir Hello guys. Hello, how are you? Hi. Do you know where is Garden of Caves? Down there, Garden of Caves. Garden of Caves? Yeah. This way? Okay, thank you so much guys. Thank you. Well, that was quick, huh? <laughs> yeah, you see guys, uh, I noticed lo loads of locals here. They, uh, they chew on the, I don't know if it's betel nuts or... Uh, yeah, just uh, loads of... Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call them? Ah oh, man, pan? Yeah, pan. But uh, yeah, they have like super red uh, lips and teeth and, and everything. Everything is red. 
so it's uh, yeah, it's <laughs> but I remember I don't know I mean M Myanmar obviously not is not far and uh, I remember when I visited Myanmar a while ago guys like eight years ago they were all on it uh, all on the betel betel nut it makes them dizzy as well I remember trying for fun and it, it just got to my head I was flying I was as high as a fucking kite but just for like five seconds and then it goes away pushing a wheelbarrow <laughs> <laughs> Hello man, it's so cute. Going to work? Yeah, this is it guys. This is rural Megalaya. Oh, now we are in the heart of it, eh? No doubt. Yeah, loads of uh, construction workers, hard workers really here. A beautiful view from here, unbelievable. Yeah, you got to be careful not getting carried away because the, the road can be a little treacherous as you can see But uh, wow that's cool! Oh bro! Little goat Okay guys so we made it to the car park of the Garden of Caves and we have the ticket counter here we have an entry fee of 100 rupee. Hello, sir, how are you? Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. So, 100. You can keep uh, your. Oh, thank you so much. That's, I was going to ask you. Oh, you are the best, man. Hello, sir. Thank you so much. It's very nice of you. Just for uh, just for 10 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. I come from France, sir. From France. Yes, so 100 rupees, eh? No, I'm um, 100 rupees for Copro. Oh, and also 100 rupees. Yeah, yes. oh, okay, no problem. Total 200. 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 And uh, you have to start from this way, okay? This way, okay. Yeah, you have to turn like this one. Oh, okay, okay. It's like a special path to follow. Uh, no, two point or uh, two spots are there inside. Two spots inside. Mm. Okay, thank you so much, bro. Okay, Balong Siem, spot number one. Let's go. Mmm, nice. I love how the, the 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 rock is carved. And speaking of which, it says Balong Siem means. The king's cave, related with historic age, a king or rather a tribal chief once slept here, hence the name. It's a cavern which is beautifully carved with bed-like structures on the inside. Okay, nice. So guys, now we are literally walking under the rocks. It's getting super dark. And where is that going to lead us? To a little waterfall side soon see him. I mean waterfall little drip it's pretty much as big as the one we saw before <laughs> hey man Whoa. okay let's follow the path guys man it's beautiful what they did the way they built the, the whole park it's a great little spot actually I'm loving it See little bridges. It's like going around a maze. So it looks like cactus. Yeah, sure. Just gonna charge 115 rupees. <laughs> she almost bought it. <laughs> now, what do we have here? Spot number four. I don't remember the number three, but let's do it. Ah, so we're going in the cave now. Yeah! Oh, it's wet. Oh, it's getting super wet. Oh, that's what she says. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, it's so cold in here as well. It's nice, but it's literally raining on me. Huh? Hello! Make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> man we keep on walking down and down 
where are we gonna arrive? Did you send to over the planet? Planet Earth? Ah, no, I'm going back up. Oh, wow. Oh, oh man. Fuck yeah, I love that. That little hike is so cool. You know, the noise of birds. Yeah, we can hear all the different birds. Jungle vibes. Yeah, that's nice. Hello, hello, Kublai. Hello, Kublai, thank you. Okay, now we are. We have the Xai Tai Dieng. No idea how to pronounce that, but that's the root waterfall. Well, it's more like the the root drip right now because of the season. But still, man, all them roots popping out of the of the stone, really. And uh, yeah, a little steam coming down here yeah what a place what a place let's walk around oh wow oh yeah it is it is pissing on me <clears throat> yeah that's cool oh fuck I'm wet pretty nice eh so this one is Um, Um Waterfall guys and uh, it's actually, the, it, it, uh, the name comes from Um means honey so it's the honey waterfall because back in the days when this place was just a thick forest there was a lot of uh, hives along the cliff of the waterfall 50-60 years back so yeah, it's cool, they, say, they were saying on the sign it's the biggest waterfall in the area but I'm, I guess they mean here in the in the garden of cave because even yesterday when we went to that fall rainbow fall that was much bigger even the one we saw just before the, the dry one was like super tall as well okay let's get going cute little path here next to a little river spot number seven looks amazing but spoiler alert Mr. Emir here one of the local how are you brother Sorry I interrupt your lunch. I saw you were having dinner. How are you man? So you were telling me now it's not like this, eh? Yes. Yeah, now because there's not, there, now there's no rain. That's yeah, so when is the best time to visit? Isn't it for, if you come if you visit here from May until September. That's yeah. That's the the, the rainy season. rainy season. Yes. Monsoon. Yes. But there is no blue sky during monsoon. A little bit sometimes. <laughs> yes. <sir>. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mir. But it's okay, so you can go in the water, near the waterfall, so. Yeah. The water waterfalls in that season is looking. Yeah, yesterday I went to a rainbow waterfall. Rainbow you know this one? Yes, sir. Very nice, eh? Yes. Sir. There was a lot of water, so it was cool. Okay, thank you, Emir. Enjoy your lunch, brother. Yes. Bye. Okay, guys, here we are arriving to the spot. It's beautiful, eh? It's very green, loads of massive ferns. Look how big those ferns are. That's so cool. And here is the waterfall, Shaid, Shaid, yeah, um, Emir told me Shaid, so Shaid stands for waterfall and Arsdad Ars is the name, means confluence, at the point where two rivers meet. Okay, oh it's nice, huh? Yeah, it's a very cool spot indeed, not as, uh, not as much water as in the picture, but we knew this already. Okay, let's get going. I don't know if I understood him well, but I think he said that's the last spot of the Garden of Caves. Oh man, that is fuck. If I had the drone here, I would have uh, sent it there just to explore. Yeah, I haven't looked into it, uh, well, especially because there's an uh, internet power outage, so still stranded without the drone. It, it looks alright, like phys physically it's not even damaged, which is weird considering the fall 
considering the fall but uh, yeah let's hope for the best best case scenario I can fix it here worst case scenario I'll fix it in France and come back with it in Jan yes, brother thank you so much appreciate it yeah so Emir just told me there's actually four more spots one on the left three on the right so let's see okay next spot guys a rock carved by mother nature into a shape of a human fetus uh, uh, uh. And indeed, baby in mother's womb. Yeah, true. Well, what else can you can? What else can we see? Because you know, if we let our imagination run wild, we can see a lot. But uh, yeah, it does definitely look like a a fetus. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so we're going towards the spot number. Oh fuck, I forgot. Stop counting. I think 9 or 10. This lovely little boardwalk. And uh, they were not too high, but still. Well, I hope uh, they built it well. It's super cool, man. I'm loving it. Just walking like that. At, uh, pretty much at a uh, tree height. How cool is that? Uh, when I was a kid, I was uh, with my uh, cousins. We. We used to go to my grandparents' place and build a lot of, you know, tree houses. So I can definitely relate when I see uh, nuts like that and all. Bro, that's yeah, they did a great job. You know, keep no no concrete, just keep it with the wood. Please don't call that a waterfall. <laughs> no, all good. It's a sprout. It's a sprout of water. I like that. Being honest here, that comes out out from an opening inside a rock. According to the elderly locals, the name Umdawi comes from the fact that the water is being used by the locals for keeping them in good health. So it's quality water. So if it's quality water, we might have a little sip, right? Tastes good. Tastes good. And still the roots. Funny shape all over the place. <laughs> so guys, I met three lovely locals and uh, I was asking this one, what's her name by the way? Tabitha. Tabitha, if, Tabitha. She's, if she's Muslim because she wears like like a veil, but she told me no, she's Christian. Yes. And I was, I was telling her like in France, the nun, they, uh, you know, they go and live in, in like monasteries. Uh, actually, it's, it, it's got another name, but um, it's like monasteries before women. And they all wear the same thing, but white, I was telling her white. Um, and you were teaching me a word in Cassie. Uh, Kantai means uh, woman. Kantai is woman and yes. man is? Man is a shindrang. Shindrang. Yes. Oh, it's so hard to pronounce. Okay, let's take a picture. Okay, sir. Okay, so you work here? Yes, I work. Okay, here. you are a guide. Mm. Okay, what? awesome. Oh, yeah. oh, she's got the full outfit. Garden of caves, <laughs> that's cool. 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 And what is your name? Linksia Mary. Linksia? Mary. Mary. Mary is your last name? Yes. Okay, are you Christian as well? Yes. Okay, She's yeah, Catholic well, Mary. Christian. Oh, Catholic I'm Catholic Christian, Christian too. And I'm Presbyterian, Protestant. It's okay, no one is perfect. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> she didn't do the joke. Maybe she did. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's take a picture together. <laughs> yeah, good picture. Thank <laughs> you, ladies. Wait, wait, we did. Oh, with you also. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> France French name, yeah. Mm. You are from, from France, France. No? Yes. Mm. Okay, Tavita. Mm. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Same to you and well. what's your name again? Link 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 yes. Pleasure to meet you, ladies. Mm. Good luck, eh? Oh, yeah. Take care. Bye bye. bye. Come, I show you the last one. Oh, yeah, sure. One. Let's do it. Come. So, what's the name? Mo. Maudonut. Maudonut. What does it mean? Hardship. 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 Okay, Hartwick Rob. Oh no, ladies, I feel very lucky because I have two guides. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. This is the last one. Last one. Oh, okay, so it's a funny uh, shape. Uh, Hardship so, rock. what does it say? Got an impression on the bedrock. He's one of the most famous among all the spectacles within the Garden of Caves. It lies at the center of the garden. Oh, this is the center of the garden here. Mm, and the name literally translates to heart shaped rock. rock. In Kasi Madonud. Madon, yeah, Madonud. Means a heart shape? Rock. Ah. 
Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can see the. You can sit here. I just leave photo for you, sir. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much, though. <laughs> I don't. I never really take pictures. <laughs> Apart with you, ladies, of course. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, ladies. See you next time. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. So yeah, lovely ladies. You know, it's funny because. Um, in, in remote places, uh, whether it's in India or other countries, uh, sometimes people ask, oh, can I take a picture with you? And obviously they don't know you. Um, and yeah, it's interesting because, you know, when it first happens to you, I remember, well, that was actually in, in, in Myanmar, in Burma, one of my first, yeah, you know, trip. And um, I was shocked, like, I was like, wow, maybe they think I'm a professional footballer or something. Maybe they mixed me up with, you know, whoever. But no, it's just because... <laughs> Just because they don't, they hardly see any foreigners. That's it. That's the reason. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, here you are, man. How was your lunch? It's fine. Good. Yes. Okay. So now it's finished, eh? Yes, it's finished. So up. This is the way up. Oh, okay. For access. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay, guys. Well, this is it for the gardens. Garden of caves. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh wow. Uh, we Hills, eh? Conference, so don't judge. No, no. I'm, I haven't said conference. anything. I haven't said anything. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying like you might be struggling a little bit, but <laughs> that's all right. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the Garden of Caves. Guys, I hope you enjoy. We had like nine or ten different spots. That was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. I will see you soon.